so you know i'm so glad that you're here with me tonight and i just wanted to reach out with y'all listen i am so excited because time it fell back yes sunday and i didn't set my clock well they automatically did it on their own but i was wondering why can't i go on a walk tonight by the time i got ready to go walk it was pitch black outside my son was like mom i believe time fell back and so i googled it and it did now you know that's pitiful <laughs> when you do so much stuff and you don't even know the time fell back baby I, welcome to my life um but I hope y'all had a good day today. I sure enough been thinking about y'all, been praying uh, praying for each and every one of you. I am so excited for what God is doing in y'all's life. And everybody just seems so happy. And I just love our community. You know what? Sometimes I could be having a bad day and I look down in the comments and somebody will bless my soul. So thank y'all so much for being just so good and so loving. It just feels good to be in a positive place. Because I tell you what, people want you in a negative place. The devil want us to be in a negative place all the time. But I'm so grateful that y'all have me in a what? A positive place. Oh, my lips are throbbing. Okay, so wait. <laughs> Can we chat tonight? Okay, let's chat. So anyway... I got on this Rihanna lip gloss, heat lip gloss. Now, I like it, okay? Because it does, you know, make my lips feel like, I don't know. I feel like it's helping my lips because they're like tingling. And it's weird because I'm trying to talk to y'all and it's like, boo, boo. You know what I'm saying? I'm so silly tonight. I am so silly tonight. <sighs> you know, sometimes it just feels good to take a breath and just breathe. Just take a breath and breathe. And listen, tomorrow is a very profound day. Tomorrow is election day. And I just want you guys to join me tonight in prayer. Prayer that God does whatever is best for our nation whatever is best for us because i most definitely want to be in a place where i am safe and sound i wanted to share a bit of information with you all i know that i talked about this <clears throat> that god just put this habit on my heart and i really have not i really need to write it down and go over the information I'll just leave it alone. I was going to go into it, but it's so heavy. I'll just do it another time. But anyway, I just think it's important that we pray and really, you know, go before the Lord tonight. So if you don't mind joining me tonight at 12 o'clock at midnight in prayer, praying for our nation that the will of God be done, because we indeed do need more God in our environment. Because I want y'all to know this. I'm tired of fake and phony. Aren't you guys just tired? I'm tired of fake and phony. I'm tired of the same faces. I am tired of the devil misusing people. I'm tired of him putting people on all these pedestals. These people don't belong on no pedestals. I just want to be able to really see people like you. To really get things done in our life. People like you sharing your stories. People like you talking about how it is to live in this country. People like you that can really encourage somebody. Because you know what I love about people like you is you're real. You're real. You're not fake. You're not phony. You're the real deal. And you know, it's the will of God for you to be seen at this time. Because for so long, you've been hidden. It was the devil wanted to keep you hidden though. But now is your moment to stand out because you have so much to say that's for real, for real, that you literally bless people. Y'all bless me. I'm just going to go ahead on and tell you. I read the comments. I'm like, ooh, come on today. And it feels so good to just hear some of you share how good God is to y'all. So we need some real, real things. You know what the goal is for me? My goal is to grow this community so big that we have like a conference with all believers, male and female, all believers, no celebrities. 
just all people of God. Just a day or two, possibly three days, where we just go all in for God, but we no celebrities, just regular people like us. Wouldn't that be amazing just to feel a venue? People share their stories. People have workshops for financial literacy. People come in and talk about the importance of the brain and how it works and how we're having this whole avatar moment that we can really we have so much power that God has given us how to really tap into that uh, uh just break out and have little groups where you know we talk about building your business and talk about investment and of course have a segment where we're able to sing to the glory of God have some underground artists that nobody know about that can put it down and do it all to the glory of God. And last but not least, have some great keynote speakers to really pour into us with what God is doing. So I'm excited. And I know that it will come to pass. I know that we're going to fill up somewhere, fill up a venue and go all in for the Lord. Because I sincerely cannot wait to hug you guys, to tell you how much I love you in person and how much I do appreciate you. I'm believing God for that for us. But with all that being said tonight, I just wanted to take some time out to to kind of talk to y'all to tell you how much I love you and how we need to really pray tonight. Because I want you to know something real quick. The devil go to church too. <sighs> Ooh, I tell you what, God is so sick and tired of people using him like a spare tire to get what they want. God, that's not how it works. God is so on point and so good that it's all like a personal relationship that we really seek with God. And that's what God wants. He wants that personal relationship, that one-on-one -on -one time. Because I cannot wait to go up here, take my shower, and eat, and then sit up in the middle of my bed and talk to God. I literally look look forward to our conversations. And I know I'll be wearing his ear out, but he, he don't care. <laughs> so I just love that moment. And I want each of you, if you have never experienced God on that level, he is so good. And if you open up your word after you talk to him, just open up your word where God is telling you to open it up at. Sometimes Lord will tell you well, exactly what you need to read. And if you really sit down, read it and read it, you'll just be like, shut up. This, this is crazy. Because I want y'all to know something tonight. That we are literally living in the book of the back. It's like the pages have jumped off. I tell you, I talk to so many people all the time in my job with my career. And I was talking to a gentleman today and he said, Shonda, he was from South Carolina. He said, uh, I said, it's like we're living in the Bible. He said, I almost threw my phone. He was like, it's like with the pages, the word is just flesh. I want y'all to know too, that it is something really dark, really, really dark that is really trying to grab a hold of this nation, to grab a hold of the people over here. It's something really dark side. And that's why it's so important for us to pray tonight. Pray tonight at midnight. Pray, cry out to God, tell him exactly what we need so he can hear our voice. Because I tell you what, if he can hear the children of Israel cry out to him, in a time of need and he he made a way for those children then i know that he will do the same for us he will do the same for us and everybody keeps calling my phone right now see how the devil do don't nobody think about me ain't nobody thinking about me now as soon as i sit down to talk to you so that we can have some good old conversation everybody wants to call and it's just a distraction but in any event i want you to know that it's important that we we pray together at midnight tonight. We be on one accord tonight because God is doing some great things. We need the spirit of God now in our nation more than any other time. We need the presence of the Most High in our lives now more than any other time. We need for him to just have mercy on this nation over here 
more so now than any other time because I want y'all to know something. Everybody sit back and watch what we do over here. It's some very powerful leaders that sit back and watch the chaos over here and what is going on over here. And it's so important for us to give God a good show, to do what's right before the Lord. And you know what? I don't care if it's nothing but this group. If we can do right, then we can set this world on fire for our Lord, for our God, and for Yeshua. I love you guys. I want you to have a good night. And don't forget, tonight at midnight, join me in prayer. Bye now.